This mission is a little hard to place in the timeline of the story series, but I believe it takes place during the attack on Jupiter Station as seen in the mission Red Shift, or episode 168 of the story series. That tale concluded in the betrayal of Marshal Janeway at the urging of the Inquisitor and Captain Tilly, seeking to supplant her position as the Emperor's favourite. She managed to beam away to another destination, escaping the ambush, but ultimately ended up in the custody of the United Federation of Planets. Originally, we assumed that she had approached the Federation for an alliance of convenience, but if the placement of this mission is correct, it shows us that she was apprehended and just made the most of the position. Of course, this also means that this mission is true to the storyline of the game, it happened, but one that we canonically did not participate in, judging by our surprise at meeting Marshal Janeway for the first time, after her raid on Jupiter Station. So let's just assume that this is a simulation of how that mission unfolded or something while playing through it. I'll be explaining the limited history on the Mirror Universe Borg too. <sighs> You've arrived. Good. You'll forgive me if I skip the pleasantries. I've been shot and a lot of my crew have been turned into Borg drones. All thanks to one person, Marshal Catherine Janeway. Marshal? Janeway? Don't you mean Admiral? Oh. Oh, you mean the Mirror Universe. Yes, of the Terran Empire. In addition to being utterly ruthless and dangerous, she apparently can assimilate people turn them into Borg drones under her control. We've managed to trap Janeway on this deck, for now. But there are a lot of her minions between you and her. You'll need to deal with them first. And the other Terran forces have already left. A Terran officer of her rank is a high priority capture. Starfleet intelligence wants her taken alive, if possible. She has a lot to answer for. We've lost a lot of good people here. Understood, Commander. You'll have your station back in no time. So this mission begins with us beaming in into the room that's concluded the Red Shift mission, the one that formerly contained Aaliyah. The Terran forces have retreated with their prize to learn how to make contact with the other as we did with Vija, and they've left us to deal with the Marshal and a lot of her drones. Clean up duty. These are former Jupiter Station personnel that have been converted by Marshal Janeway to defend her. So, in the Mirror Universe, the Borg exist too. Unlike the Federation and its mirror, the Terran Empire, the Borg, however, are rather similar to how they exist in both universes. The exact nature of the Borg from the Mirror Universe is not well established, however, with the ISS Voyager and Marshal Janeway being one of the only ships to encounter them. The Mirror Universe Catherine Janeway, however, went and stole Borg technology, even incorporating it into her own biology so that she could assimilate other people with herself as a pseudo-queen. The Borg, however, are far more aggressive in that universe in terms of their assimilation when compared to the Prime Universe counterparts. For example, any intruder onto a Borg ship in their universe is immediately targeted, whereas the ones we know will ignore anything, even if it's a known entity, as long as it's not a threat. At least, until they get around to it. Janeway's trapped in transporter room one. Go get her! Hmm. Sounds like she's trying to leave the station. Another thing about the Mirror Borg. Unlike our universe, rumour has it that the central mind of the Borg Collective is a Borg King instead of a Queen. Their ships, too, tend to be larger than the cubes of the Prime Universe, and first contact with their Terran Empire was made in 2371. Heads up! Incoming hostile! Damn! She has partial transporter access! Sight to sight only! When they attacked outposts along the Romulan border, this mirrors their first approach of the Alpha and Beta Quadrants that we are familiar with, however their targets were the Alliance powers of the Klingons and Cardassians, who had outposts amid the Romulan territory. Because of the threat they posed to that alliance, the remnants of the Terran Empire thought to reach out to them, the enemy of my enemy and so on. You're clear to proceed. Get to the transporter room. This did not go well. 
It became very quickly apparent to Captain Picard of the ISS Enterprise that the Borg were indiscriminate and single-minded. The Borg managed to assimilate Dr. Noonien soon, and he became their locutus. Their more aggressive Borg tendency to assimilate everything, however, meant that Picard was able to halt their advance to Kronos by dropping an Iconian probe in their way. When assimilated, the infamous computer virus of the Iconians ruined the Borg ship and prevented them from reaching the Klingon homeworld. Make no mistake, saving the Klingon Empire and the Cardassian Alliance was not exactly Picard's goal. He simply recognised the greater threat that the Borg posed, more so if they ever managed to take over that alliance. We've managed to find our way to Jupiter Station's transporter room and arrive to find Janeway has managed to gain control of the system in a limited capacity. She beams away just as we arrive. Well, very slowly. Damn, she's beaming out! Not only that, she pulls the old switcheroo and replaces the transporter room with more ball. Good news is she only had access to site to site beaming. Bad news, she beamed to a shuttle bay. If she can bypass our transporter security, it's only a matter of time before she gets past security there and hijacks a getaway craft. Don't worry, Commander, that's not going to happen. We've got transporters right here. There's nothing to stop us going after her. Glad to hear it. I'll beam your team to the shuttle bay she's in. Stand on the transporter pad when you're ready. <sighs> that's the thing about Terran technology. It's remarkably similar to the Federation's mostly because a lot of the time they steal our technology, but that's neither here nor there. It just means it's easier for them to hack through. Take down Borg drones to drop her shield! This battle sees Janeway protected by some form of network-supported shield, akin to a souped-up Borg personal adaptation shield. In order to weaken it enough, we've got to reduce the number of allies she has around her so that we can Take then damage her. Her shield. her shield is down! Now's your chance! Open fire! The battle against the Marshal ebbs and flows in this pattern, with her calling in reinforcements that we have to take out before focusing fire on her, rinse and repeat. She's a damn! Eliminate four drones to make her vulnerable! There are stories amid the Terran Empire that down. are hard now to discern, due to the Empire's paranoid and secretive nature, but they claim that an agent of Cardassia, a human codenamed Agent Seven, had encountered the Borg in her childhood and lost her parents to them, but escaped. Who knows if the mirror Annika Hansen is being entirely truthful, but combined with the encounters of the Enterprise, well it was enough to pique the interest of Marshal Janeway, who then began to hunt this new foe, the Delta Quadrant. Of course, we have seen plenty of the Marshal in this story so far, with her now entering a position of favour in the Terran Starfleet once more, before being betrayed by Captain Tilly and the Inquisitor and Kumaki. Janeway's down! Deal with any remaining drones while you can! While she escaped their attack, she was still stranded on Jupiter Station in our universe, so she decided to aid us, and warned us of the Emperor's plans in order to survive and make it back to her universe. Impressive work! Starfleet Intelligence is on the way to have a few words with the Marshal, along with Admiral Janeway on board the Voyager. Somehow, I have a feeling they won't be talking about coffee or swapping old war stories. Uh, duty calls, I'm afraid. I need to make sure our esteemed guest stays put in the brig until Intel gets here. Thanks again for the help here today. I owe you one. We can beam you back to your ship when you're ready. So this is how Marshal Janeway ended up in the custody of Admiral Janeway. She then returned to the ISS Voyager and helped us in the battle against the Emperor, seeing the threats that the other Vija posed to all. You didn't think I'd miss this party, did you? After the battle, however, she withdrew once more and went rogue again, a power vacuum forming in the Terran Empire now that Crusher was gone. The only motivation that could potentially be ascribed to her was revenge against the Inquisitor, the only remaining living participant of her betrayal, and it seems that eventually she puts her weight behind the conniving Lita and supports her grab for the Terran throne. What lies next for this narrative remains to be seen. 
But with Janeways delving into Borg technology, undoubtedly bearing fruits, and now lent to the new Empress, the Mirror Universe certainly seems not to be quite finished with its conquests yet. Thank you for watching this epilogue of sorts of the Terran Universe arc of Star Trek Online, and thank you for watching this story series. I aim to continue it as and when I take new patrols and things left in game that are undone, but for now the main narrative is yet to be written. So I'll see you next time for another part of the Star Trek Online story series. I've been Rick, thanks again, and goodbye.